Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Now we're back here on American Truck. We got the truck that we was telling, that I said we was gonna run. The International Eagle 9400 mod. Uh, we're, we're heading down to Carson, uh, California. We're in Bakersfield. Uh, 310 uh, miles, I believe. So let's go ahead and load our freight. They're loading everything up now. All right. Now, yeah, we're ready to go. 310 miles. We got six hours and 34 minutes to get there. Okay, the trucks run a Cummins ISX 600, 600 uh, horses. Uh, has an 18-speed transmission. I don't think it's a, it has a, a, a retarder in this. I don't think it had an option for retarder. It doesn't have a J brake. This truck has been updated. It does now have the uh, airlines, as you can see there. It, it did not have it before, so they did update to that. Here's the inside of your truck here. For this uh, little 9400 International. Inside, there's your sleeper. Don't really like the curtains too much. You can't really see the sleeper to do the curtains. So uh, we can't get out of the driver's seat in this truck either. I, I just noticed. Okay. Some of them you can. Some of them you can't. There's your dash over there, there's your, there's your little panel that shows you all your information over there on the dash. That's pretty interesting for it to be over there. But I tell you the truth, though, I, I do like this truck. This is a nice little truck. I think the monitor's done a pretty good job with it. Has the record default number. We got to slide out here, cause we'll never get out. We'll be done. So if everyone's enjoying the videos, we are back on the channel. Uh, as you, if you did not watch the last video, I done the Matt Pinnacle. Um, I will uh, say again that uh, I was having problems with this game crashing. Um, I did fix that. I took out the MHA Pro map. It's, it's not crashing now. Um, that was the whole deal why I wasn't making any videos. I was trying to figure that out. Um, LSPDFR, I'm still having some issues with it crashing. Um, LSPDFR will be coming back to the channel, but it's not going to be something that we're going to be, like, changing packs out all car packs out, so like that, because it's just so much time consuming. Um, I do have a full-time job, so I just, I mean, I would love to do that. I think that would be cool to do that. I mean, there's a lot of great monitors out there. They do a great job on their car packs, and they should be showed off, but... I do, I, I just don't have time to do that without a you know, full-time job because I work crazy hours. Alright, we're on the route. Heading down to Carson. And we got a little bit of time during the day on this trip because it's like 10 o'clock in the morning.
Either this truck doesn't have a jake brake or the jake brake just doesn't work. It's one of them. Set our cruise control there at 57. Um, but one thing, guys, about this truck, I do like this old uh, International. I think these trucks are good-looking trucks. These old, uh, this old International. And I think it's great that the mod offer, you know, that he's keeping it updated and he's working on it, trying to keep it going. I think uh, it's great to see that. Uh, there's a lot of mods out there that I wish with, that has like that and you know they've been abandoned so it's good it's great to see the the one that's been doing this truck it's keeping the mod up there, you know and stuff like that and now as you all want to know i don't use too many modded trucks that i don't get off the workshop and this one here i got off the of mod sites for ats uh they come off the of mod sites name of the website. What to CHP? That's four. That's what you did, that's how you wake them up, you get up behind them, blow the horn, and scare them to death. There's a big truck behind me blowing the horn. Let's see him when he's 
slowing down like that, we have to hit the brakes. Keep from hitting it. We'll leave that up just for a little bit. See if we can get around them. This runs into, oh, we got a turning lane, so that, that works out good. Okay, so this is actually a turning lane, I would say. But we got a turn up here, so that works out perfectly. We're gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna see what we can do here. Let me look at the map. I don't want to make a video. Uh, we may go through this roadblock. Yeah, that's gonna be way back. It's gonna take too long to make that road stop. We're gonna see what Slides in this road I don't like doing this for recording sake. Fire truck just went flying, guys. Y'all see that? Okay. I hope y'all see that. <laughs> you got flying fire trucks and they kiss. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the flying fire truck. <laughs> I mean, we could have went around it, uh, detoured around it, but it would have, we would have had to went a long ways off and then come back the other way. And for recording purposes, I, I didn't want to really do that because it's going to take our, make this video a lot longer should have to be. I think we'll get a thumbnail. Right now. We should get one back here with that flying fire truck. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> Hey guys, not a bad looking little sit up there with that international.
better pay me where we can see something there. I don't just think that. Okay guys, I'm sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. I do apologize for that. So we're about 130 miles out from our drop with this international. So what do y'all think about the international, the old uh, 9400 uh, Eagle here? This truck's come a long ways. I think it still needs a little bit of work. I mean, I'm not a modder. I don't know anything about modding. So, I mean, I'm not going down in the truck because, I mean, I, I don't know how to make one. So, but I, I still think you could use just a little bit of more touch up. I think it'll be a pretty good mod. Turn it off a little bit farther. We had about 120 miles to go. Getting a little bit more stutters with this uh, truck. Um, last video we did was it wasn't too bad. Had a little bit more when we got into Las Vegas, but I think it has something to do with a lot of these modded trucks. Cause I can play this but without a modded truck active and use default trucks, but it's not near as bad. I mean, it doesn't stutter bad at all. One here and there, one or two little ones. But it, it's pretty bad with these modded, some of these modded trucks that you can put in here. Oh, I wish I could quit hitting the wrong button. So 
we're about 83 miles out, so we'll, we'll go ahead and just lead that up since we're so close to pretty much being there. And normally I would have went around the detour if I'm just playing, but you know, for, for recording purposes, I, I didn't want to do that. We would have had to go a long ways off and then come back down. It would have been a lot longer video. At least we are getting some day runs and some where it's not rain because the last couple of last few videos we've done it's been all night runs. Let's slow down, we don't get a ticket. Um, one thing I wanted to add too, with the new version that's coming for ATS, version 1.35, I don't know if y'all heard this, but they're going to be fixing some of the issues with the game. Uh, they're fixing the road signs in Arizona, there's been a lot of road signs over in Arizona that need to be fixed, that's one thing they are fixing. They're adding some truck stops, uh, excuse me, truck 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 stops uh, I think they're adding one in California and one in Arizona and they're adding some roads in Oregon uh, detour roads so you can get around like when you have a detour or something like that um, you know, so they are fixing a lot of little small issues they haven't got to California yet. Uh, they wanted to do Arizona first because Arizona was the first free DLC of the game, so that was something they wanted to do first, you know, to fix their problem there. And uh, we are getting some new trailers with the update, you know, we are getting um, a container trailer, where we'll be the hog containers, uh, we will be getting a wood shaving trailer, I think there's like two or three different styles of the wood shaving trailer that we'll be getting and we'll be getting a um, like a a piggyback trailer uh, because when Washington comes out uh, hopefully and hopefully it'll be out at least by May I mean uh, excuse me by June uh, they, they showed a, a photo of a Kenworth manufacturing plant up in Washington so you're asking me to take that piggyback trailer and go up there and pick up trucks and deliver them to dealerships which is going to be amazing it's, and which is something that we will, we will do and we will record to show it spoke too soon about the rain guys. At least you get to see the gauges in this truck. Look at that. Them gold gauges. Not too far out though. We got about 20 miles to go.
dirt it is a little worse right here. For some reason, I don't know why. We're here. Let's see what they want it. All right. That's where they want it. Get turned around here. Let's we can back her in there. That's all right, so actually we drove 311 miles. It took us 8 hours and 22 minutes to get here. We consumed 60.5 gallons of fuel. Okay, guys, that's going to be it. For the for the video, uh, I do apologize that truck that truck popped up right in the middle of the shot there.
that's gonna be it for the video um thank you for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i'm not sure what the next truck will be yet that we'll show we may just do a cruising video where we just uh pick a truck and cruise um so we're not, i'm not sure yet uh, but this is the international eagle 9400 eagle um not a bad mod at all it still needs a little bit of improvement but it's still a very nice looking done truck thank you for watching have a good day